guys, it's Rose. Okay, as you can see here, I created a mixed media canvas and I use lots of, I mean, for the color that I use here, I use my homemade color spray. I got that um, idea from Melanie. Her YouTube na uh, her YouTube name is Mel's Craft Design. If you wanna check her channel, I'm gonna link that um, tutorial below. And actually, I didn't use that exact um, technique, but I got that idea from her. So, so for the color spray, as you can see here, these are my hand homemade color spray. Okay, I'm just gonna put this aside. And there you go. So instead of putting the names here, I actually spray the paper and then adhere it into each of the bottle. Just for example, this one is the red color, and this one is the green color. I got the yellow one and the pink one. And this one is the violet color, and this one is the light, light violet. It seems like a lavender color. And this one is the orange color, and uh, it's like a moss green color kind of thing. And this one is the teal blue, and this one is the light blue. And this one is the black color, and the brown. So for this, I use the alcohol, the 50% um, alcohol, and I got the this one in I think a dollar store. I think I got this for a dollar something or or a dollar fifty or two dollars. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I got I got this alcohol in a dollar store, so it's very cheap. And I have this in my stash, which is when I ordered from Joanne online. And also I ordered this um, Ranger Perfect Pearls. So I use that for the shimmery of the colors. And okay, here's the thing. So for the color, the food coloring that I use here is the <laughs> is the Wilton Icing Colors. So I'm using this for my baking and I have uh, different colors. So I use these colors to put it to also use in my craft um, spray thing. So in that way I can save money. Actually, I save lots of money for this for this um, color spray. And thanks for Mel because of her tutorial. So I have a kind of idea on how to create a you know it's like a color mist. Okay, so what I did is, as you can see here, there's a, it's like a shimmery inside. So what I did is I put a three quarter of alcohol in the bottle, and then I used the the toothpick to to get the colors from here because the this kind of um, color is kind of jelly. So I use that to put in here, but it will gonna melt anyway uh, after you shake it so many times. So after that, and then I use this perfect perfect pearls. Actually, I only have um, only a little bit left here. <laughs> so I use that to put some in here, and then just shake it for a couple of times, and then you can get that. Um, you can get that color spray that you want. So that's my color spray that I use in my uh, mixed media canvas. Okay, so for this uh, black color, I didn't use this pearl, perfect pearls. I didn't use that. Instead, I use this. It's like a stardust kind of thing that I that. You normally use it in your, you know, in the icing just to highlight the the fondant like that. 
I use this also in the baking. So I kind of pour pour some in here in the block. So as you can see, it's so shimmery. So if you don't have the perfect pearls, so if you get this in the baking section, you can is that will helps too. All right, so that's my spray car. Perfect. Uh, it's like a the mist spray mist <laughs> because uh, those are very expensive I I only bought three and they're expensive so I didn't buy lots of them but instead I make my own alright so there you go this is my um, mix media canvas so what I did here is first thing I did is put that use the crafters workshop stencils to get this texture in the sides as you can see I think this one is the the mask stencil and on the top I use my my um, script stencils as well as in the bottom part and in here and I also use some in here so on this part is the script one and on the bottom part, as you can see here, is the brick col brick stencils. Sorry for my my finger because I kind of mix some of the colors before I finish this um, canvas, so it's kind of still have in my fingers. <laughs> and also on this part, I use the what they call this one, the honeycomb stencils. And in between of those. Um, um, textures I put some of the the cheesecloth to get more you know more of the texture in, as you can see there so I use that to put it to adhere to adhere it there and then I I decorate my I mean I to create the canvas using lots of wild orchid craft flowers and these things I don't know how to call this <laughs> I always use it in my project but I don't know how to call it and also I put that little color lily I think those um, I use that three there to and some wild orchid craft flowers again and this one is the light bulbs the tiny one and the wooden butterfly in the, the key from Michael's this one is the tiny clothes pin and also here I got I create a just like a reset paper using that um, the Martha Stewart what do you call that one the ah I forgot <laughs> Anyway, so and also these are the metal metal embellishment. It's like a gear. I think the gears. Yeah, I got it in Michael's, and also I cut this chipboard using the withered clock. I love this using in my project as well, and also this one is the. It's like a pearl trims, so I put some in here, and. I created this one and put that flower and the pearl in the in the center in this banner and that um, what do you call this one the 55 it's like a actually this one I got it from Michael's also I think what I forgot the the brand of this um, this thing so I just um, adhere it there, and this one is my my what do you call this one? Um, applique from my collection, from my stash, and I made the wings here. And this one is the applique also that I got in the same the same one to make it as a like a wings also. And I just put that. Um, trims here for our belt 
and actually I didn't dress that uh didn't put some of the I mean I didn't put I didn't dress up that dress form <laughs> uh, anyway I just cut it in a half to just to adhere it flat in the canvas and I just also incorporate that chain here and after that after I had here everything and then I just sewed it all everything including the sides too I just sew it and then after that after it get dry and then I start um, spraying with my homemade um, sprays so I use that pink color the light blue um, it's like a moss green kind of thing and the yellow and yeah so I played with the colors on this canvas and I love how it turned out hopefully you guys like also <laughs> anyway so this is my first one so hopefully my second one we're gonna be I you mean I mean we're gonna be nicer than this one so and then also I forgot to tell you I just put that mademoiselle there just to you know to fit that concept of this canvas Alright, so that's my canvas. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and see you again on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!